Hida, are you ready for another kiss? A kinetic interactive sculpture show. Oh, hey, hi there. How you doing today? My name's Clay Hoffman and I'm a professional artist. Got my little art biz card right here. This card has in the center of it my logo and I created this logo out of my initials the C and the H for Clay Hoffman. You can see it clearer on this piece right here. See the, uh, the C and the H on there. This sculpture is a piece of wearable art that is a big necklace. And I made this from a bike of mine that broke down. And I used the crank arms and attached those to the uh, little brake linkage pieces and attach those to the brake levers and then up here at the end I used my old bike lock which made a very nice little clasp just like a real like a real necklace and uh, I can put this on looks pretty uh, pretty far out there I call this techno primitive because of the technology that went into casting the aluminum and primitive because it's just so big and bulky and um, it's got a real kind of a real Antonio Gaudi quality to it very very uh, very large and uh, uh, pretty far out there but uh, it's, it's incredibly light in that it's all aluminum that's so a it's a fun fun necklace piece I have another sculpture piece I'd like to show you here this is a little bug sculpture I made and you can see around his neck, he also has one of my logos. So he's got a little, uh, uh, a little logo bling going too. This is a bee squido. It's half bee, half mosquito. Very dangerous. But I can wear it here on my wrist like a bracelet. Kind of a nice little piece. I also have a little bug sculpture in the shape of a bee and this guy is made out of recycled materials he has washers and then a wood screw for the stinger and a couple ball bearings for the eyes another piece is a little dragonfly that's made with a machine screw ball bearings and some stainless steel welding rod now I take these guys and they start flapping their wings and try to fly away with me here. So I kind of got to be careful with them. But uh, no, seriously, if uh, I want to shake somebody's hand, I do have to be careful about this guy because he will, uh, he will scratch somebody if I'm not careful. So uh, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a real fun, fun piece of wearable art there. I have another sculpture here I wanted to share with you. This piece is a little mass sculpture I made and I teach cartooning and sculpture classes and I teach students how to make little masks like this out of copper wire. This is a pretty uh, pretty good mask. It, it fits very nice and um, has kind of a silly little little antenna on the top up there and um, get a, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of fun with this. Another piece of wearable art here is my uh, sun sculpture. This is pounded brass, and this sculpture has on its back some brackets so I can wear it like a shield. So it makes a sun shield. If it was really, really, really hot out, I guess I could, I could shield the sun from uh, from getting me so I've got my sun shield here I also have another sculpture this is a sculpture that's called a wind walker and this sculpture has my logo right here you can see the CH on the on the pole and we have a little character on the top of the stake and if I spin it like this it looks like she's uh, doing a little dance Kind of a fun piece. Okay, so I've got all my wearable art on me. I think it's time that we go check out our featured sculpture now. So I guess uh, I guess we should get art hopping, okay? Okay, here we go.
This is my art cart. And on my art cart, I have my mascot, Scrappy. Scrappy is the official greeter for the art cart. I can shake his hand here, and he welcomes me to the art cart. In Scrappy's other hand, he's got one of my business cards. Thank you, Scrappy. I'll hold on to this. Above Scrappy is a bird sculpture, and this bird sculpture has a little piece of string here, kind of like a puppet that allows its beak to go up and down. Above the bird sculpture is a whirly gig that has a little bee and a sun. And what happens is the wind makes the sun spin around, and that lets the bee do the uh, little pollen thing, and, and he's being chased by the sun. So it's a, it's a busy day when the sun's chasing you. Over here I have a mobile. In that I used bells and chimes. I call this a mo bell. So it's kind of fun. A little, little play on words there. Mo bell. This is our featured sculpture here. This is balancing act. What we have is a unicyclist here and at the end of his arm is his associate and he is balancing on the fulcrum. The fulcrum is the teeter-totter point where things balance. When I give this a push, the energy that keeps it spinning around is called inertia. When I take this sculpture to school, I like to talk to children about Newton's laws of motion. The first law is a body in rest will stay at rest and a body in motion will stay in motion until acted on by external forces. So the external forces here are me pushing on this top kinetic element and then the uh, external forces to make it stop is the gravity of the earth pulling on it as well as the friction in the air. I also like to talk to children about Newton's third law. For every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if I was to push this sculpture really hard it would spin around really fast. And that shows that there was a lot of energy went into it and it's dissipating that energy as it spins around. This sculpture does have some found objects in it. The base down here is a really solid piece of solid steel from a, uh, a big machine shop that I was able to, to get from a, a recycling bin. And the wheel here is a, uh, a, a piece off of a garage door spring. I've got my logo right here looking good. Up here on the kinetic element, the uh, ball bearings here were given to me by a very nice teacher whose husband worked at a large machine shop and he was able to recycle those for me. So that is our featured sculpture balancing act. I hope you enjoyed seeing it and we enjoyed seeing you here today. Right Scrappy? Rightio, we'll, we'll see you later. Bye.